did you say, and I quote, I am pretty. Everyone says I should be on the cover of magazines. I said I believe I'm beautiful with makeup on done properly. No, that's not what you said. No, you I... said, and I quote, I am pretty. Everyone says I should be on the cover of magazines. Mm. If, you, if you don't want to own it, it's okay. No, I don't believe without makeup, I don't believe that I am beautiful. I have imperfections, and with makeup on, I do think that I look a lot better. Did you say, and I quote, I need to be on TV because I have something that people like to watch? I said I would, we'll go with that one. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> there were two statements. I'm pretty. Everyone says I should be on the cover of magazines. I need to be on TV because I have something that people like to watch. If that's out of context, put it in context for us. Because I certainly don't want to mischaracterize you. I, I think that whole thing was a mischaracterization. Just, is this a no, mischaracterization no, of her? The narcissism it thing is, is totally me. I'll own up to that. Well, but apparently just the not. way you guys make me look like such a, 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 a scumbag like on there. I mean... He's really? giving you the yeah, chance. Yeah, you made me look horrible. Oh, okay. Well, is it that you think everything should revolve around you and no. therefore you're not going to be pleased with anything? No, I I'm, have no children and I feel like, yes, my world at 25 should revolve around me. I should be focused on myself and I don't feel that's a problem at 25 with no children and I have a dog. <laughs> All right. You said I make everyone feel special just by being beautiful. No, that's so misconstrued. You guys are good. Yeah, some no, good no, no, staff whoa, here. Whoa. <laughs> hey, listen, I have a very professional team, and I will march their happy asses out here right now, <laughs> and they will either say you said this or you didn't. I take that real personal, and when you say it, lady, you better be ready to back it up, because I'm damn sure ready to back up my end. I understand. Okay, High so, five on that one. so, <laughs> tell me how this is is blown up because it's the same font as all the rest of the page. <laughs> it says, I make everyone... It's underlined. I make everyone feel special just by being beautiful. Yeah, I, no, that's, I will not own up to that because so I So you didn't think, say that? No, I, I, you don't feel, make people feel special just because you're beautiful. If that was the case, then everybody feels special yeah. from Can I interject TV? and save you some time about what you think she believes? We almost didn't get on the plane, or she didn't almost get on the plane, because she thought this whole process was fake and that we were going to get human trafficked. That's what I was doing 2 o'clock in the morning before I f came here. Now, we're talking about fantasies. One of your uh, great executives had to come here in the middle of the night, get his, his IDs, copy them, text them to her. She's telling me not to get on the plane. It's, I mean, we're not, I'm not kidding. So you, so you th your theory, what, your, your theory was you were going to come out here and I was going to sell you into slavery? Not, it no. was, <laughs> the, 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 the show was, the, somebody had gotten your information and it was, it was phonied up. Well, we're talking with Shauna and her daughter, uh, who has been very candid about why she's, uh, terminated so many pregnancies. Now, did, did I hear you say you had a problem with that video as well? It is what it is. Can't change it. It's TV. That was you in the video. Those were your words. There were, were my words that were at points misconstrued, cut, and then edited and pasted. At some points, I will own up to the majority of that. Well, so okay? whatever the way was certain things look bad, like the I, I adore whatever myself. Whatever was misconstrued, please reconstrue it now. Now, when I did have my seventh abortion, um, that was the sixth one, by the way. Yeah, no, no, it yeah. was the seventh, I think. So uh, it was like my whatever abortion, and I said, I adore myself. No one knew I was pregnant on Facebook. I'm not publicizing, hey, I I'm going to go have a kid. I did. You, you did after I said I adore myself, and you blasted all over Facebook about how I'm a person. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. did. But I, no one on Facebook knew I was pregnant until you said something. I, I mean, I was embarrassed. I didn't want to sit there and go, oh, I'm having another abortion, people. Why would you write that in the first place? The whole point is, why would you even say that? You should be mourning, you should be upset, you shouldn't be at home going, yeah, I just got this done. I adore myself. That is what I find upsetting. Because my Facebook is not... My Facebook is not dedicated to you, mother. My Facebook is like what I'd like to say and what I'd like people to know. I said I adore myself and I just left it at that. And I know you got frustrated, I know you got angry, and I didn't mean it to piss anybody off who knew that I was having an abortion, but to the rest of the public, they didn't know. So well, I wanted to keep I, it that way. I didn't think questions? it was wrong. I, I wasn't saying it in, in a way 
because I adore okay, myself because I got another abortion. Okay, got you're going to cut that great. Can, can I ask you a couple questions? We're going to cut what? That abortion. You're going to cut that with seeing great, I'm sure. Therefore, your, your peoples. I had another abortion. Let's do one more. That's a good one. That's a keeper. Because, I mean, Dave, dude, come on. Whew. Let's go. It's public TV. We'll go all the way. I mean, come on. Why don't, why don't we get into the fact of why I've had all these abortions and these guys you know that what? were beating I will me definitely, and things like I that. I will let's, definitely let's do that, that if you will let's... just take a breath. <laughs> I wonder if your life would be different six months from now, a year from now. And I'm telling you, it would be. You have all the resources. You're intelligent. You're a survivor. You've got energy. You're still healthy. This is something that you can turn around, but you can't dig out of this by yourself. You need some help. And what I'm telling you that I'm willing to do is to arrange for you hand-picked personal help in your town, in your world, in your life, apart from her, apart from anyone. It's time to be selfish in your behalf. And you probably think, well, I wouldn't expect to hear that. Because of the narcissism. But, exactly. But I'm telling you, it's time. Narcissism is an illusion. I'm talking about genuinely putting yourself at the top of the list and saying, you know what? I'm 25. Life expectancy, I could be here another 75 years. It's not too late to get this right. And I'm making you that offer now to help you. You claim you're a sex addict, right? Um, it, when we met, yeah, I, I mean, I was kind of trying to get as much of this, this stuff on the table as I could. I wanted to declare to her that there's a possibility for something like that. You've cheated on everybody in your life, right? Not, not everybody. There, there's, there's a couple that I, you know, I think we could, you know, depending on how you looked at the scale, but uh, I... I <laughs> If you want to say everyone, I'm fine well, with saying that. I, I, I personally, say. I personally believe it was just about everyone. There's one or the other, um, but you cheated on her. No. Why not? Uh, she wouldn't understand, because I feel like <laughs> if I'm holding the reason that she's here, the second I gave it to her, she might say, "Well, that's you know whatever." Um, I, when I met Danielle, I had been—I mean, for crying out loud—I talked to a lot of girls, a lot of them selfish world we live in. And for me to say that sounds a little ridiculous, I know. <laughs> but you talk to girls for a little while, you happen to maybe take them out on a date, a date or not, whatever it is you do, and you start to find out the way they think, it make you sick. What happened to your former marriage? Former marriage? You were married, right? Yes, sir. Because your ex-wife sent us a statement. She said, Ryan continually fat shamed me while I was pregnant and continued to do so after the baby was born. He offered me a cash incentive to lose my baby weight, which shocked me. I believe he's a narcissist, and he was very controlling throughout our five-year marriage. My advice to Danielle would be to cling to her family and find a good church, as the only one who can fill the hole in her heart is the Lord, not Ryan. Now, I don't know this woman, but that was her, per that was her perception. <laughs> Do you think a, a woman with reasonable self-esteem and reasonable self-worth would take an unbalanced relationship like that and consider it to be okay, acceptable? Uh, I do not. It's usually just a matter of time before they figure that out. Before they figure what out? Before they figure out that this is not normal. Yeah. Um, that this guy's definitely not like I thought. So you think you're abnormal? Absolutely. Like you break stuff, right? Sure. How do you feel afterwards? Like with this chair up here, you see the picture of the chair. Well, you, you walk by that chair afterwards that you've broken in anger. How, how do you feel when you walk by that chair afterwards? Oh, God. <laughs> that... it's, it's a chair, it's 50 years old. It's a family heirloom, 50 years old. Do you want me to be honest? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, I can't look at it and care. I just, I think to myself, that was an argument, it was a thing of the past, I've done it, and honestly, it's almost like a trophy of 
you know, of the way I just, you know, have lashed out and that it's like the longer it sits in there and I look at it, sometimes the better I feel. So this is just a trophy of my immaturity. I just, this is just an emblem of my immaturity. I'm, I'm, I'm like, this is a, this is a six foot it. tantrum here. Yep. I'm six foot tall throwing tantrums. Yep. And I like, this is a yep. reminder of that. Sometimes I look at it as basically uh, like graffiti on the wall. You know, you know, no one owes me anything. I'm not asking people for help. But I broke a chair, I got a hole in the wall, and now I'm talking to one of the better therapists in the world mm -hmm. uh, in front of America. I think somebody read my graffiti. Would you like to be in a relationship with you? Yes. <laughs> I, I got a oh, feeling like you to see that. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> it's all about me. And I'm just curious why you feel that need for it to always be about you. I feel that it's all about me, Dr. Phil, and what I want, when I want, when why? I want it. Why? Like Veruca Salt. But why? It, because it's, it's a sense of feeling in control and feeling important. I'm, I'm an only child. I don't have any brothers and sisters. I don't feel like I have to share anything or anyone with anyone else. It's yeah. all about what I want when I want it right now. And if I don't get it, I'll go to the extreme to whatever it is, <clears throat> whatever it takes to get it. Jeez, what a boring life. <laughs> Isn't that boring? That you're constantly having to maintain the vigil and, and, and you gotta, it's me, 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 me. Doesn't that wear you out? Because you can never relax, because what if he looked the other way? I'm on him. I'm on him all the well, time that's what I mean. if he doesn't looks that the get, other way. And you can tiring? tell it in the bags in my eyes at times. It gets tiring, though, it doesn't it? It does get tiring. But you know what? The, the mirror is focused on me and my car. The mirrors in my home, there must be a dozen of them. The text messages are on me. I take tons of pictures of myself. I'm all about me. I'm very narcissistic. I'm almost like a narcissistic person and very proud of it. Yet I can admit it. I don't care about anything. I don't care about anyone. I don't care about anybody <clears throat> else's feelings. Charming. Yeah, that's hard to live with. So you, you live with this? Yes, sir. And does it wear you out? <laughs> wear me out? That's not, that doesn't even remotely describe it. Yeah. You, you want his full attention? I want his attention 100% of the time. When you are together, just the two of you, and you're looking right into his eyes, are you looking at your reflection or are you looking at him? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so. Am I looking at the reflection in your eyes too? My, I can see my reflection in your eyes. Yeah, there you go. There's a new place you can look. Right. <laughs> right. See, see you're, an am, you're an amateur at this narcissism. You, there's more ways you can do this than you thought. Exactly. But you sent an email to our production assistant here asking for extra attention. Correct. Uh, it said, we would kindly ask Alex to come early in the morning on Tuesday, giving us the good portion of the day. Thank you. Why? What did you want? How does that feed your ego? It fed my ego as the fact that I didn't want to wait till the afternoon to come to Los Angeles. I wanted to come to Los Angeles first thing in the morning so that I could have <clears throat> the entire day here to do what I wanted because I was going to be on the Dr. Phil show and it was all about me. If you have to stop being all of who you are to be half of a couple, it's a bad deal. I agree completely. If you give up your identity, you yes, give sir. up your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs, your, your preferences, your needs, you give all of that up in the service of another, then you've lost who you are. The price is too high. Do you agree with that? To see what you'd like me to do is shut up. Quit telling him stuff like this, right? Because you want to get out of here, get him back there and say, okay, I, yeah, I know what he said, but, but really this is all about me. It's all about me. It's all about yeah. what I want. And, and I don't <clears throat> care about what other people feel or take anyone else's feelings. But you do care about cons... being alone. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.